Well, this is my last day of digging. Uh, I didn't uh, do any yesterday. God, it was uh, just too windy. Uh, I just didn't think there was any point in filming. Did nobody hear what I was uh, on about? So, this is Thursday. Um, early. It's uh, 10 to 9 in the morning. The tide's just on its way out, so a little bit more beach to look at. <coughs> oh, pardon me. Uh, yeah, I'm saying the other clips further in the film, in the video, sorry, sure, whatever you call it, wasn't any there. I said there was a little bit of beach left on there. So I'm coming down early, see if I can find anything. I've been using wet beach mode again, the slightly tweaked version of the uh, I've been fiddling with. Uh, I'll put the settings in, in the video anyway, somewhere, and I'll put it in the video description. So, uh, give it a whirl, you know, if you're out, you know, day trips or some shit, just bang your days in the boot and go for it. Uh, other detectors are going to be better or worse, but the sand is really deep, so uh, you normally get to not getting up the right the depth, it's just like exactly the same as you could on land. So, I'm going to put this down in the machine out and give it a whirl. Good luck, me. Moving on. As you can see, and hopefully, as you can see, and hopefully even this bit, the only bit, I'm not getting any chatter. Normally on wet beach mode, on the standard settings, you get the chatter. But you only get a little bit, as you can hear. Anytime you get better ch chatter, you get to the scuff. As you see, you get to the scuff of the sand. I've got a signal, it's really about 65 I think. Let's see. Between 65, 50, 60, 60s. Not much over 40 now, is it? Nothing much, just a, a ring pull. It's an old one, so it's been down there a while. It's probably about 30 years old, that one's over there. Beaver tail on them. So, that's definitely dipping me around, or we're going pro pointy. Seven inches, roughly, give or take. So, wet sand, show you the water in the bottom. There you go. Now, uh, moving on. Well, another 52. Uh, just want to shovel this. I'll set the camera up so you can see. Just 
so I've got it out for the first set. Just there somewhere. Ooh. Now you're not gonna believe that. But it's it, <laughs> straight on. Looks like an arrowhead. How about that? Got some sort of something to do with fish in it, I don't know. Because it spins in the water or something like that, I'm not sure. I'm happy with that, I don't know what that is. But I think some sort of fishing effort. Yeah, it's a bit too thin for I mean, some sort of fishing thing. I'm happy with that one. Well, I've just got an 85 signal. There's the hole it came out of. There's the sea. So, it's there somewhere. Oh no, I can not watch it. It's not any good. Just a piece of aluminium. There you go. But found it in that big hole there. Well, moving on. Yeah, 75 again. Yeah, I think I'm going to cold. Uh, let's pull that out. Uh, quite a big signal, that, I must admit. That's biro or something. I'll just screw the lid on the biro. Don't know what that is. Looks like a pen, but. No, I'm not sure. Moving on. Well, that's my first coin of the, this morning. It's a five pence piece. So we're moving, heading back now, I think. Breakfast time, I think. As I show you there, how, how deep the sand is there. Across that top bank. That's what I was detecting the other day. You say we had that bit of a high tide uh, a couple of days ago, which I actually couldn't get down the beach because uh, there was no beach, a little underwater, and that's at least a good four feet of uh, sand that's exposed. Yeah, that's that's roughly up to my to my chest, like three and a half feet, something like that. I'm generous, probably. Uh, just thought I'd like to say uh, thanks for watching and being with me on this trip and subscribing if you're a subscriber. Thumbs up if you want, if you don't like it, you know what to do. Uh, a few lows, hello to everybody that's digging. Uh, uh, I know it's a good hobby to get into if you're just thinking of starting out. And I hope this video, I hope this video helps people out uh, with beach digging and using the XP Deus. Uh, thanks to Regton.com for supplying the uh, equipment I'm using today. Bought it on myself, to be honest. But uh, thank you, uh, really good company to use. Right in the middle of the country as well, so everybody can uh, use their services. Uh, I think it's next day post on certain stuff as well, which is nice. So thanks for watching and subscribing. And if there's anything after this, I'll put it in and then say thanks again. So moving on. Yeah, I decided at that dry bit after me waffling. Oh, uh, I just found 10p and the state of that one pence. Uh, I say people who give me metal detecting in 100 years from now, 50 years, just give me nothing from fine. The coins we make now are absolute shite. It's falling bits. I like it, make them like they used to. Moving on across here, see what else we can find. Ah, oh, that's another penny. Okay, so also, this um, wet beach mode program I'm using also works perfectly in the dry so you can just you don't need to switch from program to program you just use the program I've come up with or tweaked and you can go for wet sand to dry sand to whatever you want really well moving on well money's just jumping out the ground at me now uh, another 20p if you want to clean coin up the sand on it Machines. 
Oh, another find out of that hole there. You're still in using the wet beach mode, even though it's on the dry. Uh, most cut, the, the most, uh, the corner found the most, uh, the solid is 20 pence a piece, so yeah, I'm guessing this is going to be another 20 feet. There you go, another 20. Yeah, 20 pences everywhere. to prove I aren't messing about. They're the ones I've found up to now. I can see that. That's the bits and bobs I've found. Well that's the end of me wet beach test of the days and also deck melt detecting on the beaches. I do apologise if it's snot all over my face but my nose went like a tap. So uh, thanks for watching and subscribing. More videos on the way and I'll see you in the next one. So if you are beach detecting, please be careful because the tide is a really naughty person. <laughs>